This is incredibly exciting. I think I just received my Microsoft Xbox One Project Scorpio Edition. Okay, I just cut the box open. And a special thank you to my buddies at Microsoft and at Triple Clicks for sending this my way. And there it is. The Xbox One X. Early. So here it is. I just received from my friends at Microsoft and Triple Clicks the Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition. It is November the 2nd, and this is a pre-launch surprise. I'm incredibly grateful. Thank you, guys. So now I'm opening it up, seeing what's in the box. What's in the box? I know that's overplayed. All right, got the Xbox Game Pass. Card from my buddy Chris at Triple Clicks. Perfect. Outstanding. All right. And here we go. All right. Got all the accessories here. Let's take a look at this. Go, tearing into it. Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition. Just took it out. I'm going to fire it up here in just a second. This is amazing. So 40% faster than any other console out there. So you can compare the size of the Scorpio with the previous S version here. So the Scorpio is a little bit, uh, a little bit slimmer from a form factor perspective. It's actually a little heavier too, which is great. Um, this is the controller that comes with the uh, the Scorpio edition there. It says Project Scorpio on it as well. So why am I so excited about the Xbox One X Scorpio edition? So I did a video on this back in, uh, back during E3 and kind of talked about the initial announcement of the, of the console, you know, the why it's such a big deal that it supports six teraflops and if you think back to the original Xbox One, supported about 1.3 teraflops. But with this, with 6, you even think about PS4 Pro, it's 4.2. So on paper at least, it's the most powerful GPU out there, period. It also supports 4K, native 4K. So if you have a UHD TV, it's going to look amazing. Um, and then you start thinking about um, some of the other elements like uh, an ultra high, what is it? Yeah, it's an Ultra HD Blu-ray player that's also integrated within the uh, the platform as well. So I'm getting ready to uh, fire it up. All right, so here we go, turning it on for the first time. Here we go. All right, so I have a Samsung 4K curved uh, TV here. So natively supports 4K. So we're gonna get it up and running. All right, looks like getting everything set up. Yes, I would like English. All right, so after a brief uh, bit of setup there to get it connected to my home Wi-Fi network, now I'm running through uh, a few updates. Signed in. So as it stands now, I've been playing Destiny for the last three years. So I've been playing Destiny 2 since the release in September getting ready for the next DLC in December. So that's probably gonna be the game I'm gonna primarily play for now, even though it doesn't have 4K support yet. But I'm gonna see you know, if the processing helps at all with, uh, you know, sometimes we get caught up in a lot of ads, there can be a lot of motion around, the screen can sometimes slow down. So I'm gonna really be looking for faster processing, less lag, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And here's what I've been waiting for. So the switch to 4K. Well, the resolution looks absolutely amazing. So I can cycle through each of my characters and just the level of detail, you know, even though it's not fully 4K supported yet, I can definitely still tell the difference from even the S here. So again, highly, highly, highly recommend 
the Xbox One X, Project Scorpio edition here. Um, other elements that came in the box, again, it came with a controller. It came with a stand where you can stand it up uh, vertically or horizontally. And then it also came with a number of, you know, whether you have Game Pass, it's a month free of Game Pass and about 14 days of Xbox Live there as well. But um, it's, a, it's a beautiful piece of hardware. I can't wait to log thousands of hours on it. So again, thanks for watching uh, this unboxing video. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Blackfin360. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Have a great day.